Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I'm going to be giving you a closer listen and look at a very unique reverb plugin. It's called Abbey Road Plates. Those little things made the whole world sing to be just a glow. But the spins come and go. It is four accurately modeled plate reverbs that are uh, based upon the plates from the legendary Abbey Road Studios. Uh, needs no introduction, but a lot of your favorite artists have uh, worked and recorded there. These are truly one of a kind, and Waves has modeled them and included a lot of cool new technology and modern conveniences that uh, allow us to use them now in our mixes without traveling to Abbey Road. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a closer listen to Abbey Road Plates. Here is our lead vocal track, Dry, No Reverb, and the Abbey Road plate that we're going to listen to in a minute is Disabled. Yeah, I'll admit every now and then I'm hoping just a little bit Now let's take a listen to that same lead vocal going through Abbey Road Plates. Yeah, I'll admit every now and then I'm hoping just a little bit So a cool vibey sound there. And uh, let's talk about a couple of the controls here that I have dialed in on this preset. First, most importantly, the plate selector. So this just allows you to go through all of these different plates, the physical plates that they had at Abbey Road. And we're going through these models. And so I had it on uh, plate C. Each of these is going to give you a, a different feel, different kind of tone. No plate sounds quite the same. Uh, so then going over to our damper control, let me just play this back again and I'm going to adjust the damper so that you can hear what this does. Yeah, I'll admit every now and then I'm hoping just a little bit So we can get a, a much longer decay time. We can get up to about five and a half seconds. Important to note is that the damper behavior is going to be different for each of the plates. So depending on which one you use, this is going to have uh, a slightly different character to it and ultimately the decay times as well. Moving on to the EQ section, we have a couple of different bass cuts, different uh, ways of getting rid of some of the mud, keeping things clean in that low end. And then also we have a treble control. This is not just a uh, basic treble. This is actually modeled on uh, the Abbey Road mixing desk, which I believe is an EMI. And this is gonna give you a, a unique way of boosting the high end. We've got a drive control so that we can amplify things, but also with the total harmonic distortion characteristics. And finally, we've got an analog control to add a little bit of the original hum and hiss from our uh, plates. So moving on to the backing Vox, I used a different instance of Abbey Road plates here. Let's just go ahead and play that back without, and then I'll uh, let you hear the effect that we achieved here. To be just a glow But the spins come and go And with? To be just a glow Come and go. 
working on this session, the vocalist was very clear that he wanted uh, washy vocals to kind of match the aesthetic of the music and be you know, very ambient and atmospheric, but we wanted to do it in a controlled way and also with a unique character. And that's exactly what Abbey Road plates can provide. It's very easy to get these to fit in the mix and they're very musical. Check out Abbey Road plates and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah, Oh